Ah, salam and good evening to you, my worthy friends, and a thousand hellos to you as well. Please, please, come, come a little closer. Oh, a little close. Back up. Ah, there. Now, for most of y'all that know that reference, you probably won't know half the stuff that I'm getting ready to talk about. And for the other half of y'all that don't give a crap about that reference, you're probably too old to even know what that movie was anyways. But, for those of y'all that are feeling down and out and hopeless, hopefully this will chill y'all up. Welcome, Generation X! So, my mom came down today and had to take my grandpa to the hospital and get him checked out, which was kind of depressing, and then told me some stuff about my sister, how she's not happy with her job, she's going back to college, and it's going to cost her a lot more money. But, um... It got me to thinking about a lot of stuff today. And, uh, you know, all the good times that I had with my dad, which, you know, here's a snowboard, which, actually, I haven't used that snowboard in so long, it's basically like my dick. It's just there for decoration. Uh, I'm so old now that my eyes are messed up and my legs are messed up, I'd probably kill myself if I got on it again. Oh, and did you happen to catch my Sooner Back Scratcher? You know how long I'd spend that, been since I used that? A long time. I'm not even limber enough to use that to scratch my own back. Speaking of feeling old, I now realize after speaking with my mother that I'm turning into her. Do you happen to see all this old antique crap that I'm now collecting on top of my armoire? Did I just say armoire? Anyways, I still got Star Wars collectibles. How old is that? Is that still cool? I don't know. I just had a friend come over earlier this evening. He's about half my age. And uh, he says, man, you're not old. You're still cool. You're only old if you're on uh, Medicare Medicaid and got disability. Hello? I've been on that for past 11 years. Thanks for the info, son. Appreciate it. And then one of the things that normally cheers me up is being able to go out and do something uh, special for my nephew, which... Uh, he just started wrestling and needs a pair of wrestling shoes. So I went out and got him a pair of wrestling shoes because I used to wrestle in high school. And he's a crazy little booger. Reminds me a lot of myself. We like to go out to the races and we like to play race games at the arcades and stuff like that. And even that didn't help me, you know, feel good today. But I got to thinking that, you know, I used to wrestle and um, I actually went undefeated in high school because... I was like maybe 92 and a half pounds, and that was if I was dripping wet. And so naturally, I went undefeated and was able to letter that year. Um, I guess I should have stuck with it, and maybe I'd have got a better scholarship or something. Uh, same with baseball. I had such a small stature growing up, my strike zone was impossible to hit. I could have been a double threat in wrestling and baseball. Bo Jackson and Kyler Murray, if I would have stuck with it, they wouldn't have had crap on me. But anyways, that's my day. I hope you had a few laughs about this. Y'all have a nice evening.